Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to do a pre-class of our uh, AI Excellence Bootcamp. We are working on creating uh, courses for intermediate, advanced, and basic level of students. Uh, if you are following my updates, we have launched um, a bootcamp online and have received tremendous uh, support from students, principals, and universities. In this video, I'm going to discuss a pre-class, which is going to show what we are going to cover and at a high level, we'll give a big picture. So let's get started and let's go through some of the structured content. In this pre-class, we are going to discuss as how practical artificial intelligence can be used by you by learning the skills which are needed in many different companies such as Google, Amazon, Spotify, Netflix, Instagram, to name a few. These are just some sample examples but I'll try to present a big picture. Again, this is a recorded version of the session. We have conducted many live sessions with the audience. This session is provided to the students and participants just as a point of reference so they can share it further. Our artificial intelligence uh, classes are designed with basic students in eighth and higher, but we are going to teach Python data science and for AI projects. It's going to be completely free for government school students. This has been my dream to reach out in the farthest corner of Indian student curriculum systems so they can be brought into the system of the real world where how AI is being used by big companies, they can think ahead. It's going to be taught by US PhDs in AI and IIT and AIT alum. So we are going to bring a very expert team including myself, where we have decades of experience in leading uh, AI teams in Amazon, Oracle, Caterpillar, IBM, ARM, and even Abacus. The timings are going to be around mid-January to March. So the first uh, introductory classes are for two months. We are going to pick a time between some after office hour of the classes. It's online. The seats are limited. We already have received hundreds of registrations. And here's the QR code if you want to register as well. So the goal uh, is again to teach practical AI skills and the pre-class today, we are going to map some AI skills to real jobs. So this is going to give students a flavor. <clears throat> what do I mean by practical AI skills? One of the topic which we are going to cover in our course is AI for recommendations. Recommendation system are covered in almost every book in every course in different university, but let me connect this recommendation to real world use cases around you. For example, in recommendation, we are going to make suggestions to users so users are all of us, it's you. So AI is going to decide you as a user, what of these products, for example, is good for you to buy. This image is based on a source from NVIDIA, but indirectly it is able to learn about your choices and personalizations. It's going to recommend a choice out of all other choices, which it feels is best for you. And what are the use cases of this? Suppose if you're able to develop such a system, let's take our first use case. We all have used Amazon. If you actually go to Amazon, this is, for example, my profile wherein lo I logged in yesterday to take a snapshot. It is actually showing me some of the related items which it think I will be interested in and also showing me other items which I might be kind of interested in. For example, I was looking for some children toys and it's showing me all these children toys which I might be interested in. Further, I was looking for some other uh, background office furniture, like I'm going to set up different offices uh, across uh, um, like uh, some of the infrastructures. It's showing me what other items I can buy even. So in Amazon, like these products, which you may like, how it's able to make those decisions. This is actually driven by a recommendation system in the backend, driven by a, a very powerful AI module. There are separate teams which are handling this, what, what should a user, user see? We will talk practically how these teams are actually able to design these things. Further, if you actually have these skills, Amazon is actually actively hiring. For example, this job search query, which I did on 1st January based on recommendation keyword, you will see there are like around so many different jobs. There are 26 full-time jobs and many other jobs in different areas where Amazon is hiring, like for example, customer behavior analytics and all of these roles. And if you read technical details of these roles, they are actually asking recommendation system details. They're asking you to design, understand user behavior and so on. These jobs are not limited to Amazon. Practically, whatever you are using today, which is personalized to you, it's a recommendation system working in the backend. For example, if you are watching YouTube videos, even you're watching my video online, and it's actually able to show you related videos. For This is one of my work where uh, it's using Mango to approximate a very uh, beautiful decision boundary. This AI is used to design CPUs of many different smartphone devices. But when I'm watching my video, it's actually also able to show me all other related videos like my past videos and other Bayesian videos which are out there. 
So in a way, YouTube is able to find what other videos I may enjoy next. Um, see, these Google algorithms are amazingly complex. Google has data about all of us at very fine granular details. But in the course, we will discover more detailed uh, system that how you can think about designing such systems. We'll start with the basics so you actually can think wider ahead. Uh, many of these details are proprietary to Google and big companies. They are not available online. But the foundation of these systems are actually all simpler and starting from the basics. So that's the goal to cover. So students know how to think about designing these systems. And if you are aware of these things, uh, similarly, Google carriers, you just search recommender system uh, job roles, you will find there are like 85 jobs which match. And these are very recent job roles. The same job query I was pasted here on uh, which you can play with, but in React, it will tell you what are the skill sets for which uh, these kind of um, roles are available. And if you, as a student, you are aware of it, these roles are open to you. Uh, moving further, it's not just Google or Amazon. If you are all on Instagram, I rarely use it but I yesterday just logged into my profile and it's telling me all the people which I can follow actually. So it's suggesting new friends or post by analyzing, for example, the likes and follows which I've done in the past. All of these again are recommender systems which are able to find other similar profiles, either their products, either their videos, or are there people which are related to me as we have seen in different examples. Again, if you uh, search on the meta carriers, uh, and a role by recommendation systems, you'll find there's so many roles available on feed recommendation, infrastructure, video recommendation, even ML engineers uh, internally description will have recommendation systems details. Um, so uh, these are the people who are powering these uh, uh, different use cases that matter. And these roles are there, AI roles are growing. So having this skill set is going to help students to actually reach the job market. I am just discussing some simple examples. We started with Google and Amazon, but you can move and think ahead. Like Spotify, if you're listening to favorite music, it is able to recommend you songs. This is driven by recommendation system in AI. If you're watching movies on Netflix, it will find you what other movies which are similar to you based on your watch history or which you may like. Again, it's making suggestions based on past patterns. And this is a recommendation system in action. An Instagram example we already covered. So now we are going to cover such practical, real, important topics in our course, driven by how industry is using it and how you can think about designing these systems. Again, we are resuming basic knowledge, so we are going to start from scratch. There are many use cases. It's not just limited to these big tech companies. Even if you are a journalist uh, or you want to enter into such career, you will see that even BBC, this is yesterday's article, which I was searching on artificial intelligence in farming, and it's able to show me what other related articles will I like. How it's able to do this, this is again a recommendation system in action, which is trying to find other similar articles. So this article, which people have read together and are very similar or which I may like ahead. Uh, if you look even further ahead, it's not just for companies. So these details are actually very much needed in our, in our everyday real life. I'll share, I'll share a very real example with all of you. Uh, this is a rice grown at my farm. So in Northern India, agriculture is a backbone of many, many families. We are in, into world-class agriculture, farming, and so on. But if I want to move away from rice or wheat and I want to grow something else, so based on the soil properties and weather, I can kind of ask AI, tell me or recommend me crops which I can grow. What are the other similar crops to rice within these kind of environments which can grow? So it's not just for companies. They have real-world significance to your everyday uh, agriculture or all the carriers which are around us. Uh, this example I've taken from this GitHub source which I've added here, but it can answer these questions. For example, based on the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium content in the soil, the kind of average temperature, humidity, and pH level of the soil, and what is the expected rainfall. It can tell me with all of this, okay, the other crop suitable in the given condition is actually one watermelon. So it kind of has real help. It can, I don't have to be expert in agriculture, but with AI and having some data sets on my hands, I can find what other amazing crops are out there. So one of the topic which we'll cover is again AI and recommendation. And in this course, we are going to create recommendation systems. So students will learn how to use AI to create such systems. We are going to focus on project with real world use cases. So this is industry and beyond, like we look uh, you are going to be very much valuable to Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Instagram, Spotify, and so on. But at the same time, these have real life uh, significance. You can think about starting an ML startup on your own, helping farmers, for example. Uh, we'll start with the basics, uh, covering the basic coding that is needed. Um, we don't assume uh, that you have it. Uh, to make sure that we are also catering different students, we are going to start multiple batches. 
And then we are looking to simplified systems and then we look into advanced systems. I hope this uh, gave a glimpse of what is coming next. This was more like a trailer to show you what are the practical AI skills we are talking about, how they relate to the real world industry, what kind of jobs there are out there and how can you can think about the real world projects, not just from an industry angle and even you can connect a wider picture to this. Uh, I, I will uh, welcome all of you to uh, have any questions or feedback, you can directly email me. Or you can also register for the course as well if you're interested to learn more about this. I'll see you in another video.